Today, we're diving into something both fascinating and a little bit terrifying. How AI models are literally eating themselves alive and turning into nonsense generating machines. Yep, you heard that right. We're talking about model collapse, the AI equivalent of inbreeding gone horribly wrong. And trust me, by the end of this video, you'll be as amazed as you are concerned. But first, did you catch the latest news about Grok 2 from Elon Musk's X? Apparently, it's making waves with some crazy text-to-image capabilities. People are going wild, creating everything from Donald Trump on Mars to Chewbacca with Han Solo Trump. It's like AI is having a midlife crisis, and we're all just here to watch the chaos unfold. In today's video, we'll break down what model collapse is, why it's a huge problem for AI, and how it could potentially bring the whole AI hype train to a screeching halt. So, stick around because this is one wild ride you don't want to miss. All right, let's kick things off by explaining what model collapse actually means. Imagine an AI model that's been trained on data generated by another AI model, which was also trained on AI-generated data. You get the idea. It's like an endless loop of AI cannibalism, where each generation of the model becomes dumber and more nonsensical than the last. Think of it as AI inbreeding, but instead of weird genetic mutations, you get jackrabbits with multicolored tails randomly showing up in Wikipedia entries. Researchers found that when you keep feeding AI-generated data back into the model, it starts to produce absolute gibberish. For example, a model trained on successive AI outputs went from talking about architecture to spewing nonsense about jackrabbit tails within just a few generations. It's like that game of telephone, but on steroids, and the result is complete and utter nonsense. So, why should you care? Well, model collapse could be the Achilles heel of AI development. As more AI-generated content floods the internet, it's only a matter of time before this synthetic data starts polluting the training sets of new models. The result? AI that's less intelligent, more biased, and ultimately more useless. Imagine trying to train an AI on a diet of fake news and deepfakes, yikes. What's even scarier is that this problem is universal. It doesn't just affect language models, but could also impact image generators, coding assistants, and more. And with tech giants like Google and OpenAI pushing for more AI-generated content, we could be heading for a future where our smartest machines are just as confused as a first-year philosophy student. Here's where things get even crazier. The study that revealed this phenomenon showed that model collapse doesn't just happen, it happens fast. As each generation of AI learns from the synthetic data produced by its predecessor, errors start stacking up, and before you know it, the AI is spitting out nothing but gibberish. The researchers were shocked to see how quickly things went south. They started with a relatively accurate model, but by the ninth generation, the AI was producing content that was so nonsensical it was laughable. Imagine asking an AI to write a Wikipedia article and getting back something that reads like a bad acid trip, complete with random facts about jackrabbit tails. So, what's the big takeaway here? Simply put, we need to be really careful about the data we feed our AI models. If we're not, we could end up with a generation of AI that's more useless than a chocolate teapot. And as AI continues to integrate into everything from search engines to autonomous vehicles, the stakes couldn't be higher. But there's hope. Researchers are already working on ways to mitigate model collapse. One idea is to mix synthetic data with a healthy dose of real, human-generated content. Think of it as giving your AI a balanced diet instead of letting it gorge on junk food. In conclusion, while AI is amazing and full of potential, it's not without its flaws. Model collapse is a stark reminder that we're still figuring out the best ways to train and deploy these powerful tools. So, next time you're playing around with the latest AI model, just remember, it might be smarter than you, but it's definitely not perfect. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about the future of AI. Will it continue to evolve, or are we heading for an AI apocalypse of our own making? And hey, if you're still using Google instead of SearchGPT, what are you even doing? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully, before the AI models collapse into complete nonsense,